everyone and welcome to Club Reaction to Rangers 2, Dundee United 1. Uh, if you're tuning in expecting a positive reaction to a Rangers win, it's probably not going to be the podcast for you because I'm joined by Ali Pearson and Ali, not much of today really satisfied me. No, um, only positive is three points, the rest of it completely negative. Um, I'd like to apologise to Ryan first of all I laughed at you last night Ryan when you said 2-1 I thought you were actually having a wee bit of joke with us and you were deadly serious and you were bang on me and Carney I think we were trying to be more optimistic thinking yeah we should, we should go and beat Dungeon United 4-0 whatever and Carney predicted but you were bang on it's um, this has been Rangers all season a couple of things have papered over the cracks but um, completely unacceptable to do yeah um, I can disagree with that um, first of all I will start with the before I get to the team, we'll start with a minute silence that was ruined by scumbags, let's be honest, of Dundee United fans that decided to sing the flamancy stuff about the, the Queen. Um, scum, really, let their complete club down. I'm not saying it was every single Dundee United fan in there. I actually think at one point there was Dundee United fans willing to fight with each other, looking over at it, but uh, Ali, just scumbags, really. Absolute scumbags for that minute silence. We've seen the rumours on Twitter that they might sing whatever it was during the God Save the King, but during a minute silence, I thought it was shocking by Dungeon United fans. I agree with you, Carney. The, the, the fans that sang it don't sum up the, the whole of Dungeon United fans. They'll be Dungeon United fans embarrassed by their own support. Um, but it's shocking. They go in with the the other side of the of Glasgow um, as an utter embarrassment um, to their football club. Hey, absolutely, yes, absolutely. So starting eleven itself, um, we predicted it on the pod. Uh, to be honest, that it wouldn't be anything that we decided to go with. It would be a team that would deflate us, and it did. It did deflate me. I'm not going to lie. It was McGregor, Tavernier, Goldson, King, Barisic, Lundstrom, Jack, McCann. Good to see McCann, uh, but not enough for me. Uh, Arfield, Cholak and Kent. And in the game itself, I thought Rangers started pretty well. Generally, I thought we were good. Um, and we took the lead, deservedly taking the lead, with a great break forward from uh, James Tavernier. Uh, he squared it in to Cholak, and Cholak does what he does. You give him the ball in a position where he can shoot, he will shoot, and he will score. Ali, everything else after that was completely unacceptable for a Rangers team against a level of opposition at Dundee United at Ibrox. Yeah. Like we say, we predicted what was going to happen when we entered the pub today. We were two o'clock, the teams would come out, we'd be deflated. There wasn't a team we'd go for. It was what we kind of thought. McCann was the only one that he put in that we said. Fair play, but the rest of it to me is negative. Rangers started well. A great goal by Rangers. Cholak, as you say, where he is. If you, if you give Cholak a chance, you'll put the ball in the back of the net. And he's yeah. proved it this season. But after that, we morphed into just side to side, backwards, predictable, pedestrian. I don't know what you want to say about Rangers. It's just, they're so predictable to play against Rangers, so slow. Yeah. Um, and see if you're going to put a negative team in the park, you're going to get a negative performance, and that's what it was. That's exactly. I can't say it any better than that. Honestly, I can't say it any better than that. That's exactly what it was. You pick a negative team, you're going to get negative results. Not in terms of the, the overall result. Obviously, we've got the three points, but the performance levels, it's not acceptable. Not against a team of Dundee United standards. It really isn't. There's nothing about that that I can take a positive out of. I think McCann got swallowed up by the complete negativity around him. Uh, generally, I think he did. Ryan Kent, I, I've defended him for so long today. No, no, I'm not going to put up with it anymore. The amount of times that Barisic's got the ball, and Kent just hid. He just blatantly hid in front of you. He marked a Dundee United player as we were attacking. There was nothing about that first half apart from the goal that was acceptable for a Rangers team. Completely unacceptable. Um, the second half, we started again. Bright, mate. And we, find, we got the goal again. Cholak again. Good ball into him. He's in the right place. We make it to. Uh, we make it 2-0. After that, mate, the same thing happened yeah. again. We morphed into this negative football. Everybody wanted 15 touches on the ball. <sighs> today, today, mate, generally has done nothing to reinforce my belief that what we are doing right now is correct and that it's going to eventually lead to success. Yeah, it was um, the, the second. We got the second goal. What was it two minutes or whatever? Isn't it second half? And you think, let's kick on, then just like the first half, we get a goal. In the first ten minutes, let's kick on, and we don't be more back into the same pedestrian type crap again. And it's not acceptable. Ryan Kent, I, I've, I've put up arguments for Ryan Kent all season. That's the worst I've seen Ryan Kent oh, this yeah. season. I, I, I thought he had. I felt for Barisic. 
Barisic once again has been one of our best players again, which tells mm-hmm. a story for this season. Um, I don't want you to help Barisic down that when you hit too many times for me. And McCann, like you say, Carney, I felt sorry for the boy. I wanted him to play. I wanted him to play in a positive team, McCann, and he played in a negative team. And the negative team brought him down, I thought, today. I felt for McCann. I really did. He'll, he'll come back, McCann, but... Um, it's just unacceptable for these Rangers players. I don't. I honestly don't know where we go for your can because no. you look at the squad, you look at the bench, and you go, "What do we actually do with this Rangers team?" Because something's just not good enough, and no. they just look devoid of ideas. That the, the manager to me, something the manager will bring players on. The wrong players. I'm a, the only thing is positive, but I'm glad we're going an international break. We don't need to watch them for the next weekend. Yeah. Um, we then concede a ludicrous goal, um, genuinely. Uh, every part of this goal is preventable. Um, people not willing to track the runner, people not willing to go out and commit to a tackle. And watching the goal happen, genuinely oh, just happen. watching the goal happen. I said it before we, they got it, I was like, they're going to score here. Yeah. And they did, uh, and they made it 2-1. We made changes, um, Scott Arfield, who was hoaching and the Ryan whole Jack. game, and Ryan Jack again. again. Terrible, honestly. Uh, near Rangers team Ryan Jack. It's just not good enough. It's just it's unacceptable levels of performance that we're getting right now. And you're, you're trying to kind of galvanise the team after the, what we've seen. Yes, it's three points, and I do get that. And we're probably going to get comments on this saying that we're being a bit harsh. I cannot accept that level of performance. I can't accept that against a level of team of Dundee United. I, I'm not going. I'm not willing to accept that. It's nowhere near good enough. This team are getting absolutely pounded by every single team. They, they get beat three 0 off St Mirren at the rain. Patch. Four off the Hearts, nine off the um, Celtic, Celtic and seven, seven off the Hearts, and, and we are we are we are scraping through a two-one win. No, I'm sorry, it's not acceptable. Dillman, come on, was worse than useless in my personal opinion. Look Doesn't look interested. Um, Scott Wright, <laughs> I'm sick of seeing him. Generally, I am. I'm, I'm sick to the back teeth of seeing him. He, he's not good enough to be a Rangers player. And he never will be, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and yeah, Ali, it was summed up to me that whole performance by the last kind of attack we had up the pitch mate we got a corner yep. and we put the ball into a corner and we were trying to keep yep. the ball in the corner against Dundee United at yep. home mate I said to Scotia me and Scotia seen this I think we've seen it twice at Ibrox actually during the banter years actually when we made an arse and they ran at the back and scored but we were playing Dundee United at home two and up we get a corner kick with two minutes to go and we are trying to play keep ball and we weren't even that good enough to keep the ball we lost it and Dundee United break up the park and nearly score Um I th- I just thought the overall performance today was shambolic. Players for me will come on to see man of the match and that and pass marks, but I, I don't know where we go for here, Carney. I really don't. If it was me, I know Van Bronckhurst is in a contract. If it was me, and this sounds quite immediate, I would relieve him now. If I, had, if I could, I would relieve him because it's not good enough. I've seen it all season. I've seen it last season. It's simply not good enough. And I don't see... Where we get the spark from? That's my yeah, going that's, forward, where we move on. That's my bit as well. And mate. again, and I'll just want to say one more thing. Of all the signings, one player started today yeah. from all the signings. Yeah. Where's Davies? Where's Yilmaz? How can they not start today? Yeah. It baffles me. Absolutely baffles me as well. Uh, it really does. Uh, I don't know who's trying to prove a point to who. I don't know who Geo's trying to prove a point to the board. The board are trying to prove a point to Geo. I've got no idea. But for me, there's problems here from top to bottom. Nekamara and Nekamara, Ney, Ney Matondo. Ney Matondo on the bench. Obviously, there's rumours flying about all sorts of that. But it's no matter what way you want to try and spin it for me today, today is not good enough. It's nowhere near good enough. It, it, the levels of performance, far too many of the players are going through the motions right now. And it, we will not win the league playing like that you're you're not even going to get close to winning the league playing like that so yeah three points yeah brilliant the performance not not even close not even even anywhere near it and the fact that we didn't even see Alfredo Morelos coming on you're coming up to that national break and Alfredo Morelos needs needs game time and you don't bring him on at any point it's baffling again after Trollac getting two goals he'd done his job Trollac had done his job again makes absolutely no sense Ali there's only two guys that get past marks for me today and one's Borna Barris it's another one's Trollac the rest of the team were Five at best. Yeah, Alan McGregor didn't have much to do apart from pick the ball at the back and the goal wasn't his fault. But Barisic for me, I just think it tells a story. Bonnie Barisic was a whipping boy before the beginning of the season. We brought this left back in Yilmaz, and he's been our best player. Barisic, he really has, and he's held that left that left side himself. Kent has not helped him at all. 
I felt for Barisic, but he never hid Barisic at all the last few games. He's he's been really good, Barisic. He could hold his hold his head up high and Cholak once again, give him the ball that you're putting the back of the net. That's what he does. He's a penalty box striker and he does it. Completely agree. The only two guys that get pass parts for me. Tab I thought was alright, but apart from that, I'm sorry. The rest of them King, decent, but no. Nah. I think you've been kind with Tav. I didn't think Tav was great. Maybe the first goal, apart from that, I, I thought defensively Tav was really good. I thought he was the only out ball we had in the right hand yeah, side possibly. because we've got, he's getting nothing in front. But of again, I don't think he looks fat in a game like this. Why are you playing him? If he's not fat, then why play him? There's just certainly no yeah. point. Look, there's so many questions. There's so many questions coming up now about um, what we're doing and what direction Gio's wanting to take us. But all I know is nothing that I've seen today has <laughs> made me feel positive about what Gio's trying to do. Uh, we are miles away from it, miles away from it, and the performance level is just not. Going to, we'll get caught out more times than it will succeed, to yeah. put it that way. Um, Ali, thankless to ask me after a win, and I never thought I would say that, mate, but thank you. <laughs> it's no problem. Um, thankfully, the international break is coming up this, um, next weekend, so we don't need to. Scotch has got his Scotland, they can go and see, but um, I won't be watching it. Well, I might watch it, but I won't be going to it. Um, our next game back is away to Hearts, and this Rangers team need a serious kick up the arse. We've been saying it since the beginning of the season. I fear for Rangers going to Tyne Castle, I really do. Um, I think, I know we said today's game, I know we've won, I think Tyne Castle potentially could be the tipping point if we don't get three points in terms of what happens with the future of this Rangers team. Yeah, yeah, I can't disagree, mate, I can't disagree. Um, look, uh, you might, I don't, I'm interested to hear what your thoughts on that. Generally, please leave your comments. I want to see if we are being too harsh. Uh, kind of sums up your day right there <laughs> um, but I, I want to see if we are being too harsh but from what I've seen today uh, I, I don't feel particularly good about what I'm seeing I really don't it's, it's a hard one uh, to try and pull positives out, uh, out of a result um, at, at Ibrox uh, after three points uh, it's difficult um, we'll be back Tuesday Cooler heads might prevail we've got Ryan as well Ryan will be back yeah, in. Ryan will be back and hopefully <laughs> and Scotia. Scotia will be back too yeah so yeah I mean Please do like the video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, we are Club at 22, the Rangers podcast. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>